weeks for this trip, and that is coming. Rainy and miserable outside, but inside will be treasures galore. When we first got to the bins, we weren't really sure how the day was going to go. It seemed kind of rough at first, but before you knew it, our cart was pretty full. Yeah, this did not come home with us. Sadly, we did not find the pair. And there you go, the final picks for the day. It's time to check out. That's another day at the bins. It is freezing and wet. Got another bag back there. Total ended up at 102.46 today. Now for the haul. You never know what you're gonna find next to the dumpster. So the drum set is for Guitar Hero for Xbox 360. We uh, have seen some good comps for these and it was in kind of rough condition so we just decided to sell the cymbals and the drum rack i was watching chelsea lose again that day but uh, listed both items to ebay and six days later we sold the cymbals for 100 percent profit great uh, i'm gonna pull some shoe inventory <laughs> So yesterday after the bins, we um, almost ran over a squirrel. Uh, we said we were going to come home and do the haul. That didn't happen. We were too exhausted. Uh, we did end up counting everything we had was uh, well over a hundred items. So um, I'll mark that back in the, uh, later in the video. But. Uh, so now we uh, we had three sales um, from yesterday, so I'm headed to the post office. We'll get those dropped off, uh, get to pick up some lunch, and then we will do the haul. So come on along. So we had a pretty good time at the bins. We were there for about five hours, found some awesome finds. Uh, like the Sundance top, uh, soft surroundings, I believe these are some Spanx, Cool little vintage uh, sweater. All ASOS flower top. 
Pendleton Frontier shirt. With pearl snaps. Grateful Dead tee. Carl Lagerfield tee. That one's really cool. Some scaling tones. Neighbor Toroto uh, sweatshirt with really nice embroidery all over it. This piece we've never heard of, um, but it had uh, made with merino wool, so we're gonna give it a try. Uh, Free People has a couple holes on the strap, but I think it'll still sell. Uh, Led Zeppelin T. I've uh, never heard of these uh, shorts before, but we're going to give them a try. Really cool Halloween shirt from Hot Topic. Def Leppard tee. I was kind of surprised at how many uh, band tees we found on this trip as well. Do a tag Universal Thread. Pink Floyd T, Kids Vineyard Vines, Little Leopard Top, Eddie Bauer Hawaiian Shirt, and this one, yeah, this one's a sanctuary, that one's really cool, and this cool um, flower kind of fleece top. Cool ACDC, uh, that's a dog shirt. And then this was a really cool um, Dutch Bros shirt. So there's a, like letterman lettering on the back. Really cool. Madewell skirt. Loft. That's cool. Little kid shirt there. And then a Rolling Stones tee, which was really cool. And here's more of the clothing. Uh, Sarah found some Jams World, which is awesome. Here's some Athleta pants Sarah found. And then I found these uh, Psycho Bunny plaid pants, pajama pants. Pretty excited about those. Here's some two-tone pants uh, right up the kids alley these days. Um, some cargo pants with some butterflies from PacSun, corduroys as well. Another pair of those uh, two-tone pants. Kind of crazy. And here's some more Carl Lagerfeld. This one's pretty cool. Very Chanel inspired. I'm wearing it with that t-shirt we found as well. Uh, here's a J. Jill. This one's a Talbots. Uh, this one should get us uh, a decent price on it. Uh, Sarah sold one of these before, so we got another one. And this is a new with tags Lulu Row. So that's pretty cool. Here's some more dresses. Uh, but one of the best finds of the day are these vintage Lee children's overalls. So the cool thing about these is that they're union made in the US. Uh, looked up comps and they're, you know, going for anywhere between 60 to $90, which is pretty cool. Uh, here's some kid clothes we will be saving for a trip to the buy sell trade store uh, for kids clothing. And how about some accessories? <laughs>
Here's some of the hard goods we picked up as well. Um, pretty excited about the ukulele case. We found three packaged uh, Taco Bell dogs, which is awesome. So yeah, um, some good finds. I think we'll do pretty good with the hard goods. This is our wild card item. Uh, we've never done snowboard boots before, but these Burtons were in pretty decent condition, so we're excited to get these up, even though it's off season. That's our haul. We ended up spending $102.46. And we had 145 items, making each item only 71 cents each. Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, please, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll catch you next time. Hmm? What are you guys doing? Looking for food? Yeah.